Hello, I am Bernie Ying. Thank you. Welcome to Vancouver Cantonese Opera's Theatre Workshop for the Prop Master's Dream. We are bringing you this live event from Chinatown Storytelling Centre in Vancouver, BC, Canada, on the beautiful unceded territory of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. Please note, we are filming today's event. For those who do not want to be recorded, you can keep your cameras off on Zoom. For our live event guests, you can pick up a no filming sticker at the welcome table and wear it on your shirt to avoid appearing on camera. 大家好,我是歐陽寶莉,是煙鳳明月劇團的成員 首先,我僅向Masquian, Squamish, Slave Tooth,部族之者,給我們可以在這一片美麗的原住民土地 我們將會傳情拍攝今天的節目。如果個客人想被攝錄,可以關閉Zoom的相機。至於現場的嘉賓,可以貼上不攝錄標籤,以免現身於鏡頭。好,而家開始揭開序幕了。Okay, let's start. Hello again. Again, my name is Bernie Ying. I'm a board member and stage manager of Vancouver Cantonese Opera, where I have been a member since 2011. Today, I'm very honored to be your English MC. 大家好,我是英國紅,是煙鳳明粵劇團其中一個董事,亦都是後台總監。我在2011年就已經入粵煙鳳明劇團了。今天我很榮幸 Rosa Chang is the founder and artistic director of Vancouver Cantonese Opera. Vancouver Cantonese Opera was incorporated in 2000 as, as a non-profit society and was designated a charitable organization in 2005. Our mission is to preserve and promote the unique art form of Cantonese opera in Canada. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for their support. Canada Council of the Arts, Province of BC, BC Arts Council, City of Vancouver, Hamburg Foundation, and the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in Canada. Yingguafong 獨一無二的傳統粵劇藝術。藉此機會,我們要多謝支持煙鳳明的各個贊助機構。Today's event will take place in three parts. 
First, we will share some background on our new opera, The Prop Master's Dream, along with a brief summary of the story and our creative approach. Second, we will introduce the main characters of the opera who will perform a song from the opera's first act. Third, we'll workshop these ideas by asking you, our viewers, to share our feedback and questions. Please jot down your ideas as we go and save them for this final discussion. For those on Zoom, please send in your comments and questions via the chat window. We are keen on incorporating your feedback in the development of this opera. Come 我們會請觀眾發表意見並提出問題在研討進行期間請記下自己的想法公嫂後討論之用在線上收看的觀眾在聊天框發送評論並且提出詢問我們很樂意聽取大家的意見的。Now, let's go on a journey back in time. The Prop Master's Dream is a story that takes place in Vancouver's historic Chinatown during the 1950s and 1960s, when this neighborhood was filled with bright neon signs, bustling restaurants, theaters, and nightclubs. When the Chinese Immigration Act was repealed in 1947, Chinese Canadians finally regained the right to vote and to become Canadian citizens. With the easing of immigration restrictions, more Chinese women and children began arriving in the 1950s to reunite with their families in Canada. Vancouver's Chinatown was growing with new businesses and organizations. Amateur singing groups, musical societies, and touring opera shows were a familiar pastime in the neighborhood, with the sound of drums and gongs flowing into the streets. Professional opera performers, prop makers, and theater managers began moving to Vancouver, mostly from Hong Kong. They joined the vibrant cultural scene and helped to establish the local opera troops. The area in and around Chinatown was the more affordable part of downtown, and thus a diverse working class community flourished here in the East End, including indigenous, Asian, black, and European families. Now, 現在我們將時光倒流幾十年終於重獲選舉權成為華埠居民起民樂見的消遣節目
，街头巷尾锣鼓喧天，专业嘅粤剧老官、道具师傅同埋戏院经理，大多数来自香港，纷纷迁往温哥华。佢哋各展所长，令华埠呈现生气勃勃嘅文化气息。本地戲班更應運而生。華埠一帶係當時市中心較可負擔嘅區域，從事各行各業嘅草根階層，蜂擁搬入温市東端，包括原住民、亞裔、黑人同埋歐洲人。The prop master's dream is inspired by the true life story. Of Mr. Wa Kuan Guan, a legendary figure in Vancouver's Cantonese opera community. Rosa Chang, who worked with Wa Kuan for many years on various Cantonese opera projects, is leading the effort to create a new opera to honor Wa Kuan's memory, his profound knowledge of the opera, and his resilient spirit. 道具道具大师的寻根梦，源自关华坤先生嘅真实故事。佢系温哥华粤剧界嘅传奇人物。多年嚟，应国凤曾经喺唔同嘅粤剧演出同关华坤共事。今次佢担纲发起创作呢一套新派粤剧，就系、是、为咗纪念呢一位道具大师，以表彰关华坤。对粤剧嘅丰富认识同埋顽强嘅生命力。华坤 was born in 1929 in a First Nations family in Vancouver and found abandoned in Vancouver's Chinatown. We don't know how or why he was abandoned, as he lost all contact with his birth family as a baby. He was adopted by a Chinese family that took him back to Guangdong, China. His adopted father was an opera scriptwriter for a Cantonese opera company based in Hoiping, and Wa Kuan grew up speaking Cantonese and Taishanese. Wa Kuan was also a Cantonese opera actor in China. Then he went on to master the skills of backstage production, including set design, costume comportment, and prop making. In the 1950s, when Wa Kuan was a young man, he returned to Vancouver. Although he had returned to his birthplace, he faced the many challenges of an immigrant with limited English skills. He found support and employment in the Chinese community, where he worked on numerous Cantonese opera productions for over 40 years and taught his profound knowledge of the opera. He passed away at the age of 71 in the year 2000 at his home on East Hastings Street. 关华坤，一九二九年出生于温哥华一个原住民家庭，当时被发现遗弃喺温史华埠。我哋唔知道佢被遗弃嘅前因后果。佢自出娘胎就与亲生家庭失去联络。后来佢由一个华裔家庭收养，并且带返中国广东，喺中国长大。學會講廣東話同台山話。佢嘅養父係一名粵劇讚曲人，為開平一個粵劇戲班讚曲。華坤喺粵劇圈子長大，以魚目染之下，精通粵劇嘅唱、做、念、打，更加學會後台製作技藝，包括佈景設計、服飾分類。同埋道具製作。上世紀五十年代，年青時候嘅華坤重返温哥華。雖然話翻到自己嘅出生地，
但係佢對英文只係略懂皮毛，不得不面對作為新移民嘅諸多挑戰。後來佢喺華人社團揾到工作，多年嚟從事各項粵劇製作，並向後輩傳授有關粵劇嘅豐富知識。關華坤於二零零零年喺佢喜事定東街居所逝世。享年七十一歲。Some events in the opera are only loosely based on Hua Quan's life because we don't know very much about his early life. The script is being written by Dr. April Liu in collaboration with Rosa Cheng and Leo Li. Leo Li is an experienced Cantonese opera playwright based in Hong Kong, who is working with Vancouver Cantonese Opera on this exciting new project. He will be composing the music and lyrics. We are also working with a team of consultants and elders in the Chinese and indigenous communities to help us develop the story. Thank you to our consultants Fred Kwok, Sarah Ling, Dr. Charles Barber, and Victor Guren. The final piece will be performed in Cantonese with English subtitles. The story of the story of the story is the story of 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 the story. 劇本由劉思源聯同應國鳳及李霆鋒合力撰寫。李霆鋒係香港年青一代嘅編劇家，已經創作咗好幾個粵劇劇本。此外，我哋有一組來自華人及原住民社區嘅顧問及長者，幫助我哋鋪排及發展故事嘅情節。喺呢度，我多謝我哋嘅顧問 Fred Cork、Sarah Ling、Dr. Charles Barber 同埋 Victor Guren。此劇最後嘅版本係會以粵語演繹，附以英文字幕。Here is a short summary of the story. In 1929. A traveling Cantonese opera performer named Phoenix decides to adopt an indigenous baby found in a stairwell behind the theater. With the blessing of her troop, they take the baby back to Hoiping, Guangdong, and give him the Chinese name Hua Quan. Growing up in the opera, Hua Quan learns the art of prop making, but is haunted. By a burning desire to find his true family, when he turns 18, Wa Quan runs off against his parents' wishes, taking off on a steamship bound for Vancouver in search of answers. However, he must battle his inner demons and the ship's dangerous labor traffickers before finding his way to his homeland. Will Wa Quan survive the journey? Will he find the sense of home and belonging that he's been looking for? The prop master's dream is a story of displacement, resilience, and the intercultural memories of Vancouver's Chinatown. 以下係故事簡介。一九二九年。走埠演出嘅粵劇演員鳳凰喺温哥華劇院後樓梯發現咗一名原住民嬰孩，後來佢決定將佢收養。咁得到劇團眾人同意之後，佢就將個嬰孩帶咗翻去廣東開平，取名華坤。由於自細喺劇團長大，華坤學會咗製作道具嘅手藝。不過，心裏面時時都懷住尋根嘅慾望。喺十八歲嗰年，華坤不顧養父母嘅反對，離家出走，藏身於一艘開往温哥華嘅輪船
，展開佢嘅尋根之旅。但係佢終日受到心魔纏繞，又受盡船內偷運人蛇嘅蛇頭，諸多欺壓。喺尋根路上艱難重重，到底華坤能否如願以償？佢可唔可以揾翻家嘅感覺？佢又揾唔揾到夢寐以求嘅歸屬感呢？道具大師的尋根夢就係、是、講述一個發生於温史華埠，主人公流離失所、百折不回，內心充滿住文化衝擊嘅故事。In the opera. We highlight Hua Kun's personal journey as a bright and sensitive young man who comes of age, realizing he knows nothing of his birth family or his indigenous heritage. On his journey to Vancouver, he must face the many challenges of racism and labor exploitation. He must also overcome his own fears of isolation. And loneliness. For Hua Kuan, the art of prop making becomes a vital form of self-expression and connection with the community. The main character Hua Kuan will be played by Jackie Lam. Jackie Lam was trained in the Guangzhou Cantonese Opera Troupe in his youth, and became skilled in all aspects of opera performance. Since immigrating to Vancouver, he continued to develop his artistic roots. In recent years, he has gained invaluable stage experience and recognition, performing in Vancouver, Calgary, and Malaysia. In this episode, we are immersed in Hua Kun's life journey. He originally was a person of energy. 對事物敏感嘅年青人，懂事之後，佢覺得自己對親生家庭及其原住民身份係一無所知。喺前往温哥華嘅路上，佢要面對種族歧視，忍受包公頭嘅種種剝削。此外，仲要克服來自孤獨同埋寂寞嘅恐懼。對於華坤嚟講，製作道具嘅手藝就成為佢表現自我同埋接觸社會嘅重要方式。主角華坤由林少奇飾演。林少奇少年時喺廣州粵劇團接受全面嘅粵劇訓練，移居温哥華之後，除咗工作外，對粵劇表演難以忘懷。多年嚟喺温哥華、卡加里以及馬來西亞演出，獲益良多，增加咗唔少舞台經驗，並且受到讚賞以及認同。The main supporting character Phoenix, Hua Kun's adopted mother, is a brave and talented opera performer. However, she carries the heavy weight of responsibility for her family and her troop. She is devastated by guilt when Hua Kun runs away on a steamship. Going on a solo journey to find Hua Kun, Phoenix gains a deeper understanding of herself and their mother-son relationship. Phoenix will be played by Rosa Chang. Rosa is a professional Cantonese opera artist, director, and instructor with over 25 years of experience. Rosa founded Vancouver Cantonese Opera on June the 30th, 2000. The mission is to promote Cantonese opera to the mainstream audience in Canada, and she continues to innovate the art form. By developing new fusion operas, 主要配角鳳凰係華坤嘅養母。佢係一位勇敢又有才華嘅粵劇演員。佢挑起養家同埋支撐劇團嘅重擔
。當佢知道華坤離家出走嘅時候，佢心力交瘁，不斷自責。喺孤身前往尋找華坤嘅途中，鳳凰先至真正了解到自己。明了佢同华坤嘅母子关系，凤凰由英国凤饰演。英国凤系一位专业嘅粤剧演员、导演同埋讲师，拥有超过二十五年嘅经验。英国凤喺二零零零年六月三十号创立烟凤明粤剧团，喺呢二十多年。佢不斷向主流社會推廣粵劇文化，以及創新藝術形式，開發新派粵劇嘅新路向。華坤 story is about cultural transformation, and it takes us across the oceans between Canada and China. The musical composition should reflect. These different cultures, so we decided to go outside the box of traditional Cantonese opera. In this new opera, we will weave together different musical traditions. For instance, when Hua Guan is roaming the streets of downtown Vancouver, he might hear the jazz and blues songs in Strathcona and Hogan's Alley. He might hear some indigenous drumming coming from the streets of the downtown east side, and the traditional Chinese instruments coming from the community halls in Chinatown. We are exploring how these soundscapes might come together in the opera, alongside the sounds of rhythms of Cantonese opera in the late 1920s and 1950s. 华坤嘅故事关乎文化转型，令到观众嘅视野横跨中家中太平洋两岸。我哋认为呢套剧嘅音乐创作应该反映两地唔同嘅文化及异国风情，所以我哋决定跳出传统粤剧嘅框框，喺新派粤剧中将唔同音乐嘅传统共野一路。比如，當華坤喺温市中心行蕩嘅時候，佢會聽到從 Strathcona 同 Hogan's Alley 傳嚟嘅爵士音樂，同埋南調怨曲。喺市中心東端，佢會聽到原住民嘅東東鼓聲。喺唐人街，佢或者會聽到中國傳統樂器演奏嘅輕歌妙韻。我哋正在努力探討呢啲聲音喺台上爭鳴，並且同上世紀二十至五十年代粵劇嘅鑼鼓互相交集，將會係點樣嘅景象 ？Leo Li, the composer for this new opera, is a Cantonese opera playwright based in Hong Kong. From a young age. He has developed a great interest in Cantonese opera, and has spent some time honing his opera performance skills at the Love and Faith Cantonese Opera Laboratory during his teenage years. He furthered his operatic skills under the guidance of the late Lam Gam Tong, a distinguished opera star in Hong Kong. In this message sent from Hong Kong, Liu Li shares a few words on the project. Li Tingfeng is a young Cantonese playwright. 大家好，我係李霆鋒，我係嚟自香港嘅粵劇編劇。咁今次非常之榮幸受到英國鳳小姐嘅邀請，去編寫《道具大師的尋根墓》呢一套新編嘅傳統粵劇。咁講翻多少少我自己嘅資料啦。我細細個就係已經接觸粵劇㗎啦。咁我師傅係粵劇名伶林錦堂先生。
。咁我太太咧就係粵劇嘅新秀陳美婷小姐。咁我誒從事編劇工作咧，其實都已經有一段日子㗎啦。咁亦都寫過唔同嘅作品，包括、呃、例如傳統嘅粵劇啦，就有《夜光杯》同同埋《蝴蝶記之圓夢》。咁喜劇咧，亦都有《官門家事》。咁如果好似今次咁樣係一啲現代嘅誒，即、呃、係時裝嘅粵劇咧，亦都有《梨園流金歲月》同埋《香港號》嘅。而今次咧，粵陽同加拿大嘅著名劇團啦，同埋名。合作去寫呢一套《道具大師的尋根夢》咧，係為咗向關馬坤先生華叔致敬嘅。咁華叔嘅一生係非常之傳奇啦。咁佢點樣係由一個加拿大嘅原住民去到中國學習呢一個傳統嘅戲曲，然後將呢一門藝術再帶翻去加拿大發揚光大呢？咁而戲中咧，亦都融合咗中國嘅傳統音樂同埋西方嘅音樂嘅，咁係目的為咗向大家展示啦，藝術係無分國界嘅。咁只要你係喜歡藝術，無論係、呃、中國定係西方嘅戲曲或者音樂咧，咁只要你係中意咧，你都會係沉醉於其中噶。咁我亦都非常之期待呢一套道具大師的尋根夢係可以快啲搬上舞台同大家見面。咁希望到時大家多多支持啦，多謝。Now that you have heard an overview of the story, the characters and the music, we would like to share the highlights of our event, a live performance. By the two main characters, Rosa and Jackie will perform a short excerpt from Act One. The setting for the scene is the backstage of a Chinese theatre. There is a shrine set up backstage to honor Hua Guang the Great, the patron god of Chinese opera. It was and is still. Customary for Cantonese opera troops to travel with the shrine and a statue of Hua Guang for luck and prosperity. In this performance, Rosa will sing the part of Phoenix and Jackie will sing the part of Guan Ba, father of Hua Kuan. Accompanying them are our lead musician, Miss. Christine Liang and our percussion master, Mr. Kenny Lui. In our live performance in the theater, we will have a full orchestra. 喺各位听过有关故事、人物同埋音乐嘅概述之后，而家就嚟到节目里边最精彩嘅环节啦。两位主角将会表演第一场。嘅一小段，佈景係劇院嘅後台，台後嘅神音係華光大帝嘅神音，粵劇團帶住華光像出遊係習慣，會放喺後台供奉嘅。片段中，應國鳳飾演鳳凰，林少奇飾演華坤養父。今日我哋好高興。邀請到梁潔婷師傅做我哋嘅頭家，雷錦師傅做我哋嘅掌板。當我哋喺劇院表演嘅時候，係會有一隊完整嘅樂隊㗎。
尽温馨意，好交母慈之孝，好交父。之精彩啊！燕鳳明主辦嘅網上活動，大多數都係免費嘅，純粹係依賴各位慷慨支持，以推廣粵劇藝術同埋俾大家參與及欣賞。如欲捐款，可以用以上 Canada Help Link 直接向 Vancouver Cantonese Opera 捐助。你會收到可以退税嘅收據㗎。而家我哋將以下嘅時間交俾劉思源同應國鳳主持答問環節。多謝。Thank you. Can I invite Rosa up here to maybe answer some questions, and we can share this by. 
have the mic. Chris Rosa, can you tell us what this Can we have another mic? Thank you, everyone. Uh, can you hear us okay? Yeah. Um, Rosa, can you tell us a little bit just about the scene you just performed? What is happening in the scene and a little bit what is the dialogue? Okay, the scene, the setting uh, is the backstage of a theater. So Phoenix, uh, she always wanted to have a child for her husband, the Kwang's family. And you can see when she was sitting there, she's, she got herself some baby clothing uh, in case she, she got pregnant, but it, it didn't happen. So she was really sad. So when she starts singing, the lyrics say that um, uh, she's years passing by fast. And uh, like when, if she's getting older, she won't be able to have a baby. So then her husband came in and the, her husband came in and, and tell her not to worry. Um, baby will come maybe later. So, and then later on when her husband came in with the baby, uh, they find in the back alley of the theater. So, uh, so it apparent, apparently somebody abandoned the baby and uh, Phoenix was really overjoyed and then because printed on the clothing that they used to wrap the baby, there's uh, some printing of a company, the, clo uh, the uh, cloth company, the fabric company is Guonghua, fabric company. Guonghua, if we turn it like speed from the, like turn it the other way is Hua Guang. Hua Guang is the uh, parent god protector of the Cantonese opera. So then, then Phoenix said, oh, this must be coming from, the baby must be coming from our protect, protector, Hua Guang. So she was overjoyed and then at first, her husband didn't know what's happening to her and thought she was out of her mind because of thinking of a baby. So eventually when, um, when Phoenix explained to her then they were really, they were very, very happy and they thanked their protector. That's why they were kneeling. Uh, Yobi 这个时候学梁就在外面大嗌了光华布巷最后你可以看到他们两夫妇下跪多谢华光师父这个就是我们刚才演出的剧情 OK, so uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Uh, yes, Rosa, one of the questions was uh, where was uh, Hua Guang adopted? And do we know anything about how he was adopted? 
Well, we only know that he was adopted in Chinatown. Exact location, no. And I think even though if I asked him when I met him, I don't think he knew because he was a baby at that time. So no. We only know that so um, according to Hua uh, Suk, Guan Hua Kuan, he, he was adopted by a Cantonese opera troupe that uh, visited Vancouver at that time. So I guess they must have found him close to the alley of the theater. So at that time, I think we have one or two Chinese theater. The one is called Sing Kyu. I think they have another theater. So I don't know where exactly, but it's at the belly, at the back alley of a theater. So you say I'm going to pass it to an audience member. Thank you. Thanks, Rosa. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Watching just this first scene, it really brings forward that emotion and that, that moment of decision to take the baby. And I wonder in the story that you're going to um, explore, do you address like anything about the birth mother or that moment of decision and taking this baby to another country? Is that going to be part of the story at all? Okay, because we are still developing the script. So that's the purpose of this workshop. We would like input from audience like you, so we can definitely um, put it like consider, put it into the script. But we also got suggestion from Dr. Barbara and he also suggests like about the mother, why abandoning the baby? So yes, definitely we will consider it. Uh, um, Rosa, can you tell us a little bit about your friendship with Wagwan and what was he like when you knew him? Um, I knew Hua Suk in, I think, in something, something like 1995 or 94, because I started learning Cantonese opera in 1993, and then we joined, we joined Zhan Hua Sing Musical Society. That is where we met Hua Suk. And when I first saw him, he was uh, in Zhan Hua Sing, sitting in the corner of the, um, the Musical Society. He didn't talk to a lot of people and not many people talked to him. But the reason why we uh, became friends with him is because he, he is a very good prop master. So during all the performance, he is the person behind the scene. And also um, my husband also and I were performers. So we get to get familiar with him. So he is a very, he was a very nice person, soft talking, soft spoken, and uh, I never heard him say any bad thing. So we, we uh, but at that time, our friendship is not really that, I mean, not, not that familiar. So we, and also it never occurred to me to ask him, how come you cannot, you don't speak English, you only speak Toisan? Those things never happened for me to ask. 
only years later, after he passed away, then when I talk to people, they find it very interesting. Then we start thinking. So that is how the story became alive that we, we, we think we should have a story about what so. Um uh, Chang 熟络了很多 只是觉得,咦,华叔的样子,很特别,好像这里的原住民 他有时还教我们大小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小小
according to Wasuk, after his brother passed away, because his brother also in the army, the government find Wasuk. So Wasuk knew he had a, he had a brother. Okay, as far as Hua Suk knew that he might have a sister or not, I don't know, he didn't know whether it's elder sister or younger in Australia, but they never got in touch with each other. So, any more? You can Cynthia, ask Philip questions. Yeah, that, I think you answered one of the questions. It was asking, does he have any family? Or does he have any offspring? Does he have any children? No, no, he, he never got married, right? That would be funny. No, no. Never got married, no. So, so as a, like, he had a brother, but he never met this brother. His brother was killed in the arm, uh, in, at war, is that right? And then the government find but as far as he knew that he might have a sister in Australia, but never got in touch with her. Uh, we have a question about why are you interested in telling the story now? Is there something that motivated you to share the story now? Why is it important? Maybe? Okay, thank you, Philip. Um, uh, first of all, I think Waso is an extraordinary person. And I think his life is extraordinary. Not everybody have the same kind of like, like him. And I think as a friend, uh, I really like him. And I want people to remember him as someone who is extraordinary. Uh, Tribal Okay, and one more from the live audience here. Thanks, thanks again. I was interested in the music um, in the introduction, talking about the project. Um, your host talked about how it would be like a combination of different styles. Is that new to you at the, in the Cantonese opera to kind of work with different styles and bringing in different kind of instruments and song styles? Yes, that's what we really want to um, uh, accomplish. Um, in Cantonese opera, because we mainly in traditional Cantonese opera, so all the script we use are quite um, old, uh, but this is the first for, I, as far as I know in Canada, this is the first. And to, to have a combination of indigenous um, artists and also Western artists. I really, I think this will be a fabulous uh, project. Yeah. And this is this project. 好超乎非凡的一個演出咯。Are there any other questions from the audience here? Any questions, comments? No, I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you everyone for coming and uh, please uh, come to our next uh, event on November 3rd. Yes. Right at the heart of the city festival, we'll pre be presenting part two. So this is just the very early stage of this project. We're still writing the script. We're still working with different kinds of musicians. And like Rosa said, we're, we plan to work with um, musicians from different genre and also talking to people in the community about Wagwan's life. We're still learning a lot about his life. Today's the first time I heard he had 
relatives that we know about. So this is very exciting. Um, so on November 3rd, you can come back and we'll give you a new update uh, of the work in progress. We'll be sharing some costumes, some more of the story, and hopefully another live performance. And sorry about the technical difficulties today. We're in a new space and uh, lots, of, lots of technology in here, but next time we'll get it hammered out. And thank you for coming. Uh, 就是星期三來的都是,當時我在月3號的工作坊呢,我們會參與這個Heart of City Festival,在溫哥華這個Heart of City Festival的演出的,希望你們一起來看,當時我們會用第二場的劇本那裡拿一點出來演出給你們看的。我希望你們喜歡今天的演出,希望你們不要介意我們今天有一點 problem 我希望你們有什麼意見可以繼續寄給我們。I also want to thank the uh, Chinatown Storytelling Center for hosting us today. We're live in their space. They're having a grand opening in late October. So thank you for letting us in the space early. Um, thank you to the crew today. We have an amazing crew, Martina and Greg Chaplak producing, uh, Alex Shamku on sound, Luke Forsyth on camera, and the amazing uh, performers and uh, musicians of Vancouver Cantonese Opera and all the volunteer and staff here. Thank you everyone for making this possible. It's a very special day for all of us. Okay. Uh, 多謝April,我們的consultant和我們的pre-write,多謝所有的工作人員,多謝Part6的工作人員,就希望下一次見到你們,要不斷寫email給我們的店,又告訴我們聽,有什麼事我們可以改進的。Thank you,send us email,tell